Hi everyone, I'm Angela Cache, and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create morphing shapes in Adobe After Effects. I'm also going to show you how to create the liquid motion effect. So stay tuned to learn how. This tutorial is intended for people who have a basic knowledge of Adobe After Effects. So you wanna start out by creating a new composition. I already created my composition. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is create a new solid, which is gonna be my background layer. Um, I just like to create a background layer. This is not necessary. I'm just looking for a gradient ramp and I'm going to use radio and swap the colors. And I'm just gonna choose a nice dark blue color. So this is just setting the background of my scene. Now I'm going to show you two ways to create morphing shape layers. The first one I'm going to do is create a new shape layer and I'm going to select the rounded rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a square. Now you'll see that the corners are slightly rounded and the reason why I chose this one is because if you go under the rectangle path you can adjust the roundness. And you can also keyframe the roundness. So by doing this, it'll allow you to create a morphing shape by keyframing how round the shape is. So you can go from a square to a circle. So I'll show you an example of that. I'm just going to adjust the keyframe. So start with zero and then um, adjust the roundness until you have a circle. And then from there, I typically like to add an easy ease to my keyframes. So I'm just gonna do that. And then I like to go into graph editor and adjust the keyframes a little bit more so it has a smoother ending. And now you can see that the square turns into a circle. So you are limited with this type of shape morph. Um, there is another way that I like to uh, create morphing shapes, which I'll show you next. I'm just going to name this layer. So I'm going to create a new solid and I'm just going to name it rectangle. And I am going to make sure I have my rectangle layer selected and then I'm going to select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. So this is creating a mask into the shape layer. So it's really important that you create a mask layer instead of a shape layer. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer. So for the duplicate layer, I'm going to delete the mask and I'm going to go and select the ellipse tool, hold down shift to make a circle. So now I have two masks on two separate layers and if you press M, it's a hot key to reveal the mask path. Now what I'm going to do is select the mask path on the rectangle layer after I rename my, my shape so I can tell the difference between the two. So I'm going to select the rectangle mask path and set a key keyframe at the beginning of the timeline and then I'm going to select the circle mask path copy it so control C or command C and I'm going to go back to my rectangle layer and on that mass path I am going to paste it. So what it did is it copied the path from the circle onto the path of the rectangle. So I'm going to add an easy ease and I'm going to adjust the keyframe and now you'll see that the shape layer is being morphed into another shape layer. So the main trick behind morphing shape layers is using mask layers and copy and pasting the mask path. Um, that way you can easily morph between one shape to another. Now I'm just gonna move this shape over a little bit. Now I'm going to add a few wiggle expressions so that way I don't really have to keyframe anything. I can just um, change the position by using expressions. And I'm also going to do the same thing with the rectangle layer. 
And this is just a little trick that I like to do um, to avoid, you know, having to do a million keyframes. So now the shapes are moving on the screen. And I'm just going to duplicate the circle a few times and change the scale a bit and move them around. Just going to bring this one down and scale it a little bit. And now all of the shapes are just moving around on screen. So I'm going to select my layers and pre-compose them. And I want to move all attributes to the new composition. I'm just going to name my composition. I'm just going to add a motion blur to that layer. I'm actually going to remove the background um, from this layer and place it in the main composition. So I just did a cut and paste there. Now I'm going to go to my effects and presets panel and search for fast blur. And this is where the magic happens. So I am going to adjust the blur. Um, I'm going to do about 36. And next thing I'm going to do is search for the simple choker. And I'm going to adjust this until it's no longer blurry. So now you can see that the layers are beginning to blend together and it gives the appearance of liquid. I'm just going to go back inside the composition and adjust one of the wiggle expressions a little bit more to slow it down a little bit. Now if you adjust the flash fast blur a little bit more in the simple choker, you will notice that it really starts to morph the objects even more to give it more of that liquid appearance. So you can play around with this and adjust it as much as you'd like. I like to add a little bit of depth to my shape layers. So the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this layer three times and I am going to move the top layer up just a little bit. And the middle layer, I am going to add a silhouette alpha. And then I am going to add a alpha inverted matte. So that kind of gives a highlight and it adds a little bit of depth to the shapes. So that's it. It's really simple to create morphing shape layers and to add a liquid effect to it. I hope this tutorial was helpful and if you would like to see more videos, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.